As Black History Month continues, we remember a local man that made history in Rochester and abroad. KTTC's Kamaria Bray is in the studio with this piece of history. Kamaria. There, the man in question is George Washington Gibbs Jr. He passed away 20 years ago, but has an incredible story worth sharing. When he got to Antarctica, he was the first African American to step foot on the Antarctica surface. One step had never made before. And many thought that George was an explorer, but he was not expo an explorer. He was chosen to go on the trip to Antarctica, but his position was a steward. He was a cook. Joyce was married to Gibbs for 47 years. The couple met after Gibbs's trip to Antarctica. Years later, they came to Rochester in the 1960s after Gibbs got a job at IBM. Joyce says they were one of the first black Life families in the city, and Gibbs began making his mark around town. Well, some of the things that he did in Rochester were all pertaining to race relation. And when he would often say, when we talk about race, we're talking about the human race. When the couple moved to Rochester, they weren't always accepted. I remember one very vulgar phone call that I could not repeat, but they were all unpleasant. And we did not allow our children to answer the phone for a long time because we had no idea what they would be hearing. Those situations motivated Gibbs to create a change in the community. He helped bring the Rochester branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Even after his death, his legacy continues. Here in Rochester, Gibbs has an elementary school and there's a drive named after him. Gibbs was also part of a service club, a Sunday school teacher, and worked with Boy Scouts. He did a lot of things that were community involved. And I have a very strong belief that if you live in a place, and all of us live in some place, but I think it's your responsibility as a member of the community to participate and make your area a better place. Gibbs is survived by his wife, Joyce, his two children, and a grandchild. Joyce tells me that his daughter is currently working on a book on her father's legacy. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Kamaria Bray, KTTC News.